Hello guys, hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Roman and um, I'm uh, today going back to Goodwill again <laughs> I am addicted to this place It's like drugs guys, <laughs> it gets you addicted So the thing is I will uh, not spend a lot of time hopefully here today because I see a bunch of reseller cars, I already know their cars And they know my car <laughs> So I mean I'll check it out, see if anything's left if there's nothing left, I will just go to another place today because, I mean, it's nice weather outside too. Look at that. Look at that weather, guys. It's sunny in Cleveland again, as it was yesterday. But yesterday, when I made a video, it was sunny in the morning. And then it was snowing in the afternoon. So that's what Cleveland does for you. That's when uh, living in Ohio, guys. Especially in Northeast Ohio. Um, but yeah guys, so I'll go in and check if there are any treasures left because uh, our resellers are hungry they come out and they just start grabbing stuff uh, one time, one reseller almost uh, grabbed my hand and tore it off from my shoulder <laughs> uh, thinking it was worth something <laughs> and then I was just kidding guys anyway guys, so let's go in and uh, hopefully we'll find a couple things today at least maybe one <laughs> See you guys later. Hello guys, uh, this is Roman. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, doing another voiceover for one of my uh, Goodwill thrifts. Uh, it was probably over two weeks ago. And um, please stay tuned to the end of this video to see my finds, as I usually do. And um, at this particular day, I didn't find a lot of stuff to resell. There was some stuff, of course, that you see currently in the footage that I looked at. But it wasn't worth later on picking up because, I mean, the prices uh, for those things were kind of high to even try to resell them and make any money. So, you see some stuff in my cart already, that's a new cart, which I usually look at and that day, as you can see, there weren't, there weren't that many resellers yet <laughs> uh, near the cart, I mean, I was there by myself, thankfully, but still there is another cart right there, I looked at still, I mean, even with new cards being brought out, uh, there is no guarantee that uh, you can find anything worth reselling. I mean, there is some stuff like you see here, some uh, pot pottery type of stuff, some uh, kitchen stuff, some like children's toys, which are uh, not worth it, some containers. I mean, this stuff is not worth reselling. This Coca-Cola uh, Repop uh, was kind of cool, but not to resell, <laughs> of course. I mean, you can just... For some collectors, it's a good uh, thing to pick up and just if they collect this kind of stuff and keep it. Uh, the shoes at this Goodwill uh, were, I mean, they're all, all, always overpriced. Um, sometimes I don't even look up stuff because uh, the prices are so high. Uh, the only uh, sneakers that I actually look up, uh, even if they're priced high, are Nike Air Jordans. Uh, and some other uh, very unusual brands which I'm not familiar with I will look it up also because recently actually found a pair of shoes which actually were worse uh, they were like I think $15 at Goodwill and I looked them up they were going for around $200 and I already sold them so that just goes to show you some shoes may bring a lot of money I put uh, those Kolhan women's uh, clogs or slip-ons in my cart, but I'll put them back later on, they were not worth it. The price I think was 8 or like around $8 on them, but they were selling for around 20 <laughs> maybe $24.99. Uh, those boots, uh, I don't remember if they were a good brand, uh, but they were I think priced over uh, $20, I think like $24.99, so I didn't even look them up. Justin Boots can bring some money, that's a good brand, but still, I mean, um, it's kind of borderline in terms of picking them up for $24, I mean, 
and sell them for maybe like $50. It's even in a like decent condition. I mean, you're not going to make a lot of money because you have to ship them priority mail and put them in a bigger box. So there was this <laughs> huge, uh, I mean, this uh, doll from Frozen. Uh, I don't remember. It was Anna or the other one. Uh, I forget their names all the time, but this was like one of those uh, lifelike dolls. I mean, they can bring some money if they're brand new. I mean, they are kind of popular, but used. I usually, <laughs> I actually rarely find them. Uh, some people, some resellers told me they pick, pick them up and like ship them in a big box, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> not not my thing in terms of trying to get uh, those types of dolls used. Uh, maybe I should look into it, but I didn't uh, do it yet. I sold one of them like in a brand new box before. Uh, this was, look at this price, guys, $20 for Bushnell uh, binoculars. They are even cheaper brand new on eBay <laughs> than at Goodwill for that price. And I just scanned it, as you can see me scanning it. I think they were like going for like $15, I think. <laughs> look at my phone right now. And I think it's something like that. Yeah, like... 20 bucks, 25 dollars, there were some, maybe a little bit more, but there is no room to make any money, so as you see here, that's how my Google prices things, and uh, they actually kind of weird, because sometimes they would price similar binocular cheaper, like 10 dollars, like in, like next day, for example, if I come in, so it's kind of, uh, <laughs> it's, you never know basically what the price will be at my Goodwill because they price everything differently every day and lately they've been pricing stuff really high uh, this uh, president's coin album uh, I didn't pick it up it wasn't worth it uh, some of them are worth it depending on how old they are so uh, still I mean uh, it has to be shipped in a bigger box it's kind of bulky so there is no room to make any money on it. I think they want it like $5 also. Um, yeah, those nick and neck, nick necks type of things. I mean, sometimes you can look them up. Some of it can bring some money. Uh, you have to familiarize yourself with a lot of that stuff. But uh, some resellers know specifically it's their niche uh, type of thing. They pick up those type of frames and some kind of art type of... Uh, accessories and like sewing type of accessories uh, for a sewing machine and stuff like that that's what this aisle has uh, some uh, crafts type of things some of it is worth money I actually sold some stuff made some money on it but um, if it will I mean the prices are still on even on that stuff they price everything around like four dollars I mean and so there is no room to make any profit um, me, my favorite media section. <laughs> Actually, found lately I've been finding a lot of new stuff, new sealed DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, um, and they. I actually recently, you will see my video in upcoming weeks. I actually found like ten DVDs that were brand new sealed for a dollar ninety-nine each, but they they were kind of rare, and they were like selling for around twenty dollars each on eBay. So you'll see my video. In upcoming weeks about it so sometimes you can find some gems in this section that's why for dollar 99 for media that's why some sellers on even youtubers as you see on youtube like to sell media uh, because it's kind of cheap and you can ship it for a media mail so you're gonna make more money on this particular product compared to some kind of electronic bulky type of uh, electronics or bulky type of stuff where you have to ship priority and put it on a bigger box as compared to something that's small like DVDs or even books that ship media mail. So that's why a lot of, I mean, not a lot of resellers look at it. Like with my Goodwill, there are some resellers actually, they don't look at the media at all. So they don't even go to that shelf because they don't want to, I mean, they consider it something not profitable. But I would pick it up and I would sell it. That's actually good in terms of me looking for that compared to other resources because they don't like it um, closing lately I've been picking up and actually selling uh, but not like I don't pick up everything as I used to a couple of years ago like I would pick up some uh, Nike stuff like uh, 
Puma stuff and um, as you can see this jersey here was <laughs> Cleveland Browns I don't remember what player it was but they wanted like um, I'll come back to it yeah you see here it was Cameron Wimbley he used to play for the Browns long time ago but he, is, <laughs> he wasn't uh, that good so the, but they won it I think at this good one I don't remember how much this jersey was I think it was like 12 bucks or maybe more and uh, it was not selling on eBay at all there were some listed but I mean um, so but with jerseys guys you have to always I mean look at uh, comps and see because some jersey can go for great money some popular players of course and uh, you can make good money on it of course this Pokemon Repop uh, t-shirt, it's not, I think those particular shorts as you see me going over, uh, they were all priced at like, like five, or around four something, like four fifty nine, four dollars fifty nine cents. So, I mean, you can even, I mean, if you list it for nine dollars plus shipping, I mean, you're not gonna make a lot of money. So, I mean, the good things are light, also like media. They can go first class, so that's a good advantage of picking up certain t-shirts because they are light in weight, uh, but some of it, I mean, I rarely find uh, vintage uh, single stitch uh, t-shirts at my Goodwill lately. I found maybe a couple throughout all time. Uh, lately, uh, recently, as there were some uh, rock band t-shirts, repops, not single stitch, uh, but uh, they were not worth picking up. They actually priced them at around eight dollars each so i mean that's how how high in terms of price they put up on those shorts thinking they're kind of you know popular but goodwill i mean doesn't care because they are there to make money as you know so that's why <laughs> they don't care about your opinion in terms of price that's that's how they want to price it so that's why every day whenever you come in the prices are changing Sometimes you would see a t-shirt for like $8, next day same kind of t-shirt will be like $4. Uh, this was very old, some kind of old uh, speaker or I don't even know what it is guys, put in comments what it is. I mean, it was kind of, I think they wanted like $80, I think that's what it was, but uh, <laughs> I didn't pick it up. Uh, Royal typewriter, sometimes they're worth more. Uh, picking up but this my goodwill starts at pricing typewriters at around 25 dollars each it doesn't matter if they're working it doesn't i mean they're untested of course so you have to make sure you test them but you cannot test them normally and pe like paying 25 dollars for that without knowing if it works or not it's kind of a risky type of situation so and at my goodwill you cannot actually uh, return stuff you you can actually return it but you only get store credit so i mean it's kind of advantage but I mean, that's not worth, you know, picking up something not working, bringing it back and get a, getting store credit you know, instead of getting your money back. I mean, yeah, I don't know. In my opinion, they should have uh, have policy where they return customers money back, so, but they don't. So, but some goodwills around the country do. So that's my goodwill. They, they have this policy. Um, so yeah, the thing is in my car right now, you see that Monopoly game that I will put back, electronic banking. Some of their uh, parts and pieces can be worth money separately, but I checked it, uh, checked the comps on it, and it's not, it wasn't even worth selling pieces. This Bose um, was, uh, I think they priced it, I don't remember how much you'll see it on the footage right now, but it was beat up, and <laughs> I actually, I think I actually will pick it up, and uh, I will test that it didn't work I think and I would return it for store credit so guys stay tuned to the end of the video please and I'll show you a couple of finds this was a creepy <laughs> doll <laughs> it's really creepy and I just put it back all right guys stay tuned all right guys I'm back from Goodwill and uh, <laughs> as I've show, told you in the beginning part of the video Every day is different at Goodwill. So today there was not much that I found, a couple of only two items, but um, it's not bad. I mean, still got uh, one thing that I think will bring uh, good money. I mean, not great, but good. Um, there were actually regular resellers today, not a lot, but uh, the new cards they were bringing out. I mean, there were some stuff, some clothing. 
uh, there was um, uh, some like household items that uh, were on new cards nothing special but um, you know it's a luck of the draw whenever you standing near the cart or you just uh, run into the new cart which is coming out of course you're gonna be able to grab something fast you know but if other resource grab it um, I mean we all, we all sell different things but some of stuff is the same but whoever's uh, next to the cart <laughs> and uh, see something first you know they can grab it first so it's a luck of the draw guys nothing you can do about it so I mean still you have to hustle and look for other stuff in different places and go to other places of course which I will do today but yeah the thing is um, it's still if you see if you follow other youtubers and you see them go to goodwills or you see them go to other thrift stores i mean every day you see their videos and you see them find something good if they look around more stay in a store for some time they can find um something to resell and i mean every day as you understand people donate stuff every day so the new stuff will come in and you can stop by at any time at goodwill uh, during the day until they close and you can find other stuff another resource left or when other resource leave i mean you can come back especially i live right two minutes from this goodwill so i mean it's not a big deal for me i can always stop by but i got a lot of inventory right now that i have to still list so i just come here just to maybe find something good to make good money on you know not great money but still um anyway guys let me share with you what i found just a couple things i found this john deere head not vintage one with mesh trucker head with a hook and loop velcro close closure so i mean maybe 12.99 maybe 15.99 plus shipping on a good day and it was three dollars 39 cents for a head i mean you will say it's kind of a lot but that's how good will charge us if i was at the garage sale probably would have been maybe a dollar you know maybe less most likely a dollar but not three dollars so but still i mean it's light they can ship it first class so i usually pick them up and i see john deere stuff i'll pick it up even if it's not vintage you know it still sells it's still popular and the last thing i got today was actually <laughs> they brought out a new cart with shoes and i grabbed them right away because other resources were rushing to it but i grabbed it and it was a good price this is hoka you all know hoka brand hoka sneakers this um it says here ladies i'm not sure maybe they are ladies so on the price tag they were 6.79 six dollars 79 cents and um, yeah like very clean as you see here i would not even insoles are clean and the soles are clean so not much cleaning that i will have to do on them they i didn't uh, check the counts because i know how much they are so they usually go for starting from uh, probably uh, 29.99 upwards to 49.99 sometimes on some models i didn't check this model but still for six dollars 79 cents uh picked up hoka brand i mean that's not a have something that <laughs> uh, would not make sense you know i mean it makes sense to pick them up even if they were 10 bucks like today there were some shoes here uh polo ralph lauren and uh, there were some new balance that the uh, other reseller um, picked up and they were ten dollars each i mean for those shoes and they were even in the worse condition than those hoka and uh, she picked it up i mean she'll check the comps of course she's knowledgeable too but uh, that's how good will charges and of course good uh, garage sale season will start soon so the, those types of things uh, I'll probably be able to get like hats for a dollar, maybe 50 cents, uh, shoes, sneakers, even Hoka shoes, like, you know, any other brands like Brooks, uh, Mizuno, um, there are a bunch of others that are not in my head right now, but Asics and uh, other ones, like a bunch of different good brands to sell, they'll be at garage sales, uh, even Nike. 
for I think five dollars each maybe at some garage sales they're gonna be even less you know uh, so hopefully it's gonna start soon and I'll be able to go and make videos for you guys from garage sales um, but yeah the thing is uh, that's a hole for today guys <laughs> not a great hole but I'm gonna go to other places today and try to find something um, not a not goodwill but maybe go retail arbitrage probably gonna go to Lowe's maybe Home Depot and see if they got anything good today so guys uh, if you like this content once again uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and uh, everyone who subscribed I really appreciate it guys it's gonna help my channel grow and I'm trying my best to make videos you know I mean uh, this kind of regular thing to make videos from Goodwill but uh, I'll try to make other videos from other places, you know, because it's kind of funny. I don't record everything uh, from this Goodwill because <laughs> there are other resellers. They see me all the time. So I just, uh, I mean, the ones that I didn't uh, talk to yet, I'll have to put them on my video, you know, in the future. But most of them I already did. So thank you guys <laughs> for that. Uh, but anyway, guys, please like, share and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and um, i'll see you guys in the next video um hopefully tomorrow or maybe not <laughs> who knows where i'll gonna be so guys thanks for watching stay safe and god bless